The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Economy Develop a prosperous and diversified economy to reduce the country's dependence on oil export revenues. Seventy-two years after the first cargo shipment of Kuwait export crude, Kuwait now started exporting its super light crude oil with 48 to the world. So far, Kuwait was producing just one type of oil with 31 and 2.5 percent sulfur. Now it will be able to export a much lighter type, which commands a premium of over $5 to $6 per barrel, or equivalent to the current brand price of. $76 per pedal. We will be producing 130,000 pedals from now, which will increase to 300,000 pedal by the end of 2025. All of these are being produced from northern oil field. It goes back to the discovery of free gas and along with the discovery of the light type crude. Crete was the only oil country that was stuck with the type of crude oil and now it has added another type. Its quality is next to Algerian Sahara blend and Malaysian types, which are in the same range of Kuwaiti super light crude. This will open new markets for Kuwaiti's oil industry. It can now see customers in need of light, crude oil and products like gasoline. A volume of 130,000 pedal is a small but it will give customers the flexibility to blend with heavier type of oil or it can be blended with Kuwaiti crude depending on the customer needs. Once the flexibility. For years, Kuwait was trying to sure type of crude from light crudes, but the some reasons is never dipped, or perhaps because of volume, reserve, and rate of recovery. It didn't justify the economics and constructions storage tanks and handled the light crudes from the north. The first shipment of Kuwait super light crude is heading to Aisha, simply because of higher net back against the west and ample supply of sweet type of crude in the United States of America with the shell oils. This could be the beginning of more things to come like more free gas production and further exploration for lighter crude oil which will also give our more flexibility. It's great news for Kuwait's oil industry after many years of waiting and explorations. It also meaning more income and revenue for the state treasury, as well as more challenges to come after this success, with hopes for more positive news. The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around five theme or desired outcomes and seven pillars or area of focus for investment and improvement. Each pillar has a number of strategic programs and projects that are designed to have the most impact on achieving the vision of New Kuwait. Let's look at the top social media highlights regarding Kuwait development projects. From Kona account, Development projects key to achieve Kuwait 2035 vision. And from Kuwait account, 80 to 90 percent of 48 important development projects solved. And from Global Islamic Economy account, Kuwait 2018 2019 development plan includes 20 large projects worth nearly 71.6 billion dollars. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development account, please visit the website on the screen. The 
the 14th Urology Conference and Exhibition was inaugurated under the auspices of the Minister of Health, Sheikh Dr. Basil al Sabah. The conference, which took place at the Salwa Sabah al Ahmed al Sabah Theatre and Hall, is a joint initiative by the Kuwaiti Urology Association and American Urology Association, which is accredited by Kuwait Institute for Medical Specializations. Today, as I said, it's the 14th Urology Conference. We started way back in 2005. It's been an annual conference. We've committed and we've got full support from the Ministry of Health. Uh, this year will be uh, uh, covering uh, topics related to stones, related to prostate, related to congenital anomalies, uh, using uh, state-of-the-art uh, techniques, uh, robots, uh, endourology. Uh, also, uh, we have two workshops, uh, one already done uh, yesterday, there is one will be done after the uh, conference on Monday, uh, all dealing with uh, new techniques, simulation, tre 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 uh, training our uh, young uh, residents and uh, young doctors. So uh, today, well, we're in the middle of the conference, you know, you're taking me out of the lectures. So we have, uh, <laughs> that's okay, we have um, uh, two, uh, uh, the, the conference is over two, two days, uh, it's about 18 uh, scientific lectures, some of them uh, with uh, case discussion uh, and panel discussion too. So. Today event is unique and uh, they think that uh, it's the first uh, meeting uh, that happens in collaboration with the American Urology Association and uh, this year we started with uh, two workshops, two hands-on workshops to teach our residents and our surgeons how to perform uh, endoscopic and uh, laparoscopic surgery. Uh, uh, this, uh, this meeting uh, this year is focusing on uh, minimally invasive disease and endurology, so stones, uh, most of the common diseases like uh, prostate uh, surgery and uh, minimally invasive surgery to treat cancers, urological cancers as well. Um, in terms of how we're uh, how we're in Kuwait doing in those uh, procedures, we're actually in a very uh, well uh, place. Uh, we have robotic surgery, and we've been uh, uh, operating with robotic surgery for like uh, uh, almost four years now. Our numbers are increasing. Our outcomes are uh, matching those of international outcomes. Uh, so I think we're in a very good uh, place in, in terms of urological uh, uh, surgery and outcomes. So as you may know, the Ministry of Health here, uh, they are really keen on providing the cutting edge technology and the latest techniques in therapeutic and diagnostic procedures in all specialties. Moving on to urology, they are really keen on providing the latest technology which we are able to conduct through Olympus products under the patronage of Badr Sultan Company. So we're offering a full range solution, uh, specialized in scopes, consumables, uh, stone management, even laser technique. And we also provide unique features in the products itself. Uh, our company is a pioneer in rare diseases. Uh, we, we are treating a rare disease in the urology. It's called uh, Pyrone's disease. Pyrone's disease is a rare disease. It's uh, like a limit. Uh, we, we are, our, our company is, is concentrating on these on these rare diseases, uh, and uh, it's, it, it adds a, a big value for the patients with the, with this uh, with this condition because. Uh, their main, their uh, their main uh, solution before this uh, product was a surgery. So they provide the surgery, which may, which can cause impotence and uh, a serious consequences for the patients. So it's just an injection, uh, and Kuwait was pioneer in introducing this, uh, in, in, in introducing this medication uh, through Dr. Adil Hnayan. He's the first who started this uh, medication in the Middle East, in the Middle East, and. Uh, the patients in Kuwait, who, they are the first patient who's, who, who treated with this medication. Uh, we are one of the uh, leading companies in uh, the Kuwaiti market and uh, we cover a very big range of products. So uh, we, can, uh, we provide a full urology solution including endoscopies, consumables, ultrasounds, even lithotripsy. So we have the state-of-art uh, technology in uh, all the uh, equipment in the time being and we can provide a full hospital solution for whatever urology department needs. Bringing updates in endurology and minimally invasive surgery. Attendees included local and international experts in the field, alongside corporate and professional participants and distinguished guests.